what I'm going to attempt to do is what they call in the old days a tramp bed. What they call it now, or if they even do it now, I don't know. But basically what you're doing is giving more space to a bag that, like this, a book bag. Uh, you can use it for uh, overnight camping. If you go out for the day, you want a blanket or something to put up, up underneath so you can lay on. You know, whatever. You just add different stuff to the bag to make it more useful for whatever different things that you want to, might want to do with the bag. This is a puppy harness. This used to be patches. And I'm going to fix it up to put it on the back or the bottom of my little backpack. Like I was saying, these are actually quite useful. Um, they were used, of course this tells how old I am, back in the day. Homeless people pretty much are, are what they referred to as tramps. Uh, people that jump dried trains, hitchhiked, whatever, uh, used them. Uh, what you do is you take something like this. Alright, like I said, this was poor little Patches' dog uh, harness. I cut the, this end off of it. This is the part where you adjust it. I want the adjustments on this side and this side, but I don't need the center adjustment. And what I'm going to do is sew this in so it's straight across so it matches up and then sew it onto the bottom of the bag. Uh, again, you can put, uh, say, a, a small sleeping bag or backpack or whatever, uh, maybe a little tent, you know, like a pup tent or something. Uh, that's kind of what they used it for. I'm more or less thinking it if you like to swim, you don't want your wet towel in on your clothes or inside the book bag. It works for that too. Pretty much whatever you want. It's actually quite handy. And uh, I thought I would fix it up. I don't... I miss my little dog so much and I just can't get rid of it and I figured if I put it on my backpack and made it useful then I could think of her and you know but I'll show you how to do this this takes some time so I'll have to film this little bits at a time so you can see what I'm doing and Maybe you'll get a kick out of it and want to make one for yourself. My first thing to do is to adjust how far a distance I want in between these two. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing right there would work. In case I, because I do like camping and whatnot and maybe one day I can find a place close where I can go camping and then I will need a a, a little sleeping bag or, or a little tent whatever and then I can that'll be wide enough that I can latch around so my first thing to do is fix this so it sews up and around and I'd say right here. Now what I'm going to do is attach this to there. 
and throw in a small stitch so it overlaps like this. I will probably trim a lot of this off because I want to sew this part to the bottom of this bag. I'll get to sewing and I'll turn you back on. Okay, as you see, I have sewed this part to this part. Now I am sewing, folding the flap over to here and I am attaching and sewing this part over like this to give it a little more sturdiness just like this now once I'm done doing this I'm going to attach it to the bottom of my bag I'm telling you the uses for this thing is amazing but you'll see when I'm done Okay, now that I've gotten this all sewed up, good and tight, I'm going to sew this part to the bottom of the bag like this. Alright, I got it all pinned out the way, kind of way I want it. You push the needle up through the bottom of the bag to hide any excess strings you just stick it through pull you do this till it is nicely secure and snug across the middle line now depending on how you are actually wanting this to look I'm going to remove this one now See, I got this pin removed so I can basically work a little easier on this. Depending on how you want it to look and the use of it, you don't necessarily have to sew these sections, only this center section. You just kind of just work it back and forth till you got it the way you want it. But these were actually first invented by, and forgive me if I am not politically correct, I never could keep up with that stuff anyhow. They always change it by the time you figure it out somebody freaking changes it and you don't know what it is again so but if homo hobos and which if for the older folks that was people they remember the guy men or women that would uh hop trains uh Homeless folks, uh, pretty much anybody that just ran the road because they either enjoyed running the road or migrant workers. It was just easy, easier way to carry. It's just easier way to carry things for someone that doesn't have a lot of money and can't afford the gizmos and gadgets that people have nowadays and it's useful you're taking something that you have already that isn't as expensive as say some of these bike uh, bags and stuff. Oh, I give my eye teeth to be able to afford them. I always wanted to go on one of them uh, tours, you know, where you travel the country, travel the world on the back of a bicycle or on a bicycle. 
I always wanted to do that. But, again, that's like a rich person's sport. Poor people like, well, or I say normal people. And I don't understand why they would refer to it as normal people, because I don't, I don't know. Again, that's public uh, being uh, correct on uh, the way people say stuff and believe, and I just don't get it, but that's just me, I guess. I always thought that would be just cool, awesome. But if you ever looked at how much them touring bikes cost or the the gear that they use, you pretty much have to have money to do that. Okay, but pretty much that is what you're doing. I'll finish this up and then show you what I've got done. Okay, basically this is now what we refer to as a hobo bag. And for what mostly a hobo bag is, is to take something like this and add extra stuff to it from things that you already have to make it be even more useful. Uh, again, this was Little Patches's collar. Now you can put a bedroll on this for camping. Wet clothes bag keeps the dry clothes dry and the wet stuff at the bottom. A tent for camping. It just gives this bag, which is my favorite old book bag, an extra use and more space. But again, you're using stuff that you already have or that you don't have use for anymore and you're giving it a new use. Now don't worry if the stitching ain't pretty. Back in the old days hobos didn't make the stitching pretty. The prettier the bag the more another hobo would want to steal it. And forgive me if I am not politically correct on this this is what we referred to them um, back when I was younger. And it is too damn hard to keep up with all this new politically correct stuff. So if I refer to something back from when I was younger, it's because that's what I know it to be or know it as. Uh, if you wish to correct me, cool, I understand. Uh, I also want to tell everybody we are going through, uh, my channel is going through some changes. Once again, I'm going to be divorcing Tim, which means that I am no longer going to have a spouse or a hubby, so there won't be a two old farts in love, having fun. It's just going to be me, and I am trying to think of what I want to do now. Um, I, and the more I think, the more I just don't know. But there is a couple of new names that I've been, uh, said, has been suggested. Patches Adventure. I'm Patches, and it would be my adventures of what is next. Um... I was also suggested Patches Cycling Adventures. Uh, both good ideas. Give me comments. I'd like to know what you think, which one you like, or if you have 
an idea that you think would be cool and just talk to me let me know and I guarantee I will comment back and talk to you back I don't believe in spam well actually I take this back spam is my favorite lunching meat so don't think that I am not going to answer you back and if you have another idea that you think you would like to see me do let me know only reason I'm not really doing a lot of cycling right now is it is 101 outside and this is actually supposed to be a cool summer. Most folks around here are telling me that this is an unusually cool summer. And 101 is what it is right now. Uh, the temperatures have gotten up to 115, 120. So summertime is not a good time to get out unless you get out at night or early, early, early morning. And with all the puppies, uh, it get, kind of makes it hard to do early morning. But once again, give me a talk, let me know, and tell me what you think about the new titles for my channel, or if you have a new title that you think would fit. Kissy kissy, see ya, bye bye. Hey folks, it's me, Patches, and Yuma. And now we get, try to get a little bit more healthier. And I'm coming to you to ask you to not to forget to subscribe, like, and always give us a comment because we love to hear what you're saying. So, See ya! Kissy kissy!